little bit of a pleasant surprise on Thursday. Rates dropped to 6.6%. They went down a half a point in one morning because the CPI index, the consumer price index, went below 8% for the first time in a few months. This is terrific news for home buyers, terrific news for realtors, but you've got to make sure to get that message up. Are you telling all of the, your buyers, all of the buyers, that rates have done this? The markets were closed yesterday, bond markets were closed for Veterans Day, so when they last closed on Thursday, they were 6.6%. Anthony Lamacchia here with Crush Real Estate, and I want to talk about this because you all need to get in action. This is a pleasant little surprise here. Now the tricky thing is it's at a time of year that buyer motivation tends to be not as high unless it's a relocating buyer or someone with some you know important reason to move. Most buyers aren't as motivated. So you have to get in touch with them and let them know that they went to 6.6. There is no guarantee that they are going to stay here. Now some I know some experts that say, oh, they're definitely not gonna go back up to seven, they're not gonna do that. I personally believe they're going to get worse before they get better, and I've been saying this for a while, and if you look at my interest rate predictions, they've been generally accurate uh, since the spring when this whole thing started, and I think that this is a blessing that we got down to 6.6, .6, and you've got to make sure that your buyers are aware of that. They need to get in touch with their mortgage brokers, get updated pre-approvals, watch how much more they can afford when it's 6.6 .6 as opposed to 7.25, uh, etc. So you've got to get in touch with them and make sure they know that. And then we'll see what this week brings. I mean, when markets open Monday, bond markets open, we'll see what rates do, but all indications point that they're gonna stay here for at least a little bit. How long, I don't know. I personally believe that um, you are going to see them probably stay down for a few weeks and we get somewhere into December, January, I feel that they're gonna probably go back up again before next summer coming down more. And remember remember to tell your home buyers that when they come back more, come down more later, they can refinance. That, that's the part that people seem to miss. We got buyers saying, oh, I'll just wait, I'll just wait. Okay, wait for what? Till the winter when inventory's lower, when inventory's at its lowest point? Now inventory's going down. Also, another reminder for realtors, Make sure to look at inventory that is stale. We got way too addicted. Too many realtors got way too addicted at only looking at new listings coming on in the last three to four years. You can't do that. There's this, been a significant amount of listings that have had price adjustments, that have sat still, etc. Okay, you need to get those properties to your buyers. You need to point them out to your buyers. You need to get your buyers into those properties. You also should pay attention to stuff that comes off the market in the next few weeks. There are people, especially in the northern states, but even down south, that will voluntarily come off the market because they're like, eh, I don't want to deal with this, the holidays are coming, etc. cetera. Um, and you need to reach out to those listing agents if you get a buyer that sees a property that they like. So my point is, make sure your buyers are seeing all the inventory, not just the new inventory, and make sure they are aware of what's changed with interest rates. If, if the mortgage broker that you work with is doing their job, they've already gotten this message out to buyers, they're already getting pre updated pre-approvals out, okay? Let's get in action, folks. Sorry to be turning awkwardly uh, and showing you all back backgrounds. I don't show off my yard. I keep uh, corners in my videos and that's about it, okay? That's not me. So anyway, have a great day, everybody. Happy home selling. I gotta go do P90X, thank you.